Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We are studying Luke chapter 10, today verses 2 to 7. Let's read it, think about it quick, and pray. So then he said to them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray or ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one along the road. But whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on it, and if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not go from house to house. So this isn't forbidding the uh, Bible workers uh, from going and visiting house to house. It's forbidding them from staying at one house for a couple of days and then going to another house for a couple of days and then going to another house a couple of days. And yeah, like like over here, she's got, her food is tastier. That's not it. That's not why we're doing this work. So what you want to do is I think Jesus wanted the workers to make connections with the people in that household. And there's two reasons for that. Not only so that they can make connections with them and minister to them, but also so that the people in the household can actually see the testimony of the lives of the workers of God and say, hey, there's, that's unusual. This is different. These are moral people. Uh, I, I, these are spiritual. These are holy men and women. We want them. We want, I want to be like that. And maybe part of it's because of that. But look at these different pieces here. First of all, Jesus tells us there is a great harvest waiting. We might look around and say, well, yeah, but Christianity doesn't seem too popular today. Uh, it maybe doesn't seem too popular, but Jesus says there's a great harvest that's waiting. It, what's the, the lack is in workers. You and I need to be his workers. Now, then Jesus says, I send you out like lambs among the wolves. Yeah, it's not safe out there, is it? And yet Jesus sends us out like lambs among the wolves. That's, that's pretty grim stuff, isn't it? Yeah, are you anxious to go out and be torn limb from limb? Because a wolf can tear a lamb limb from limb and make quite a meal of him. Uh, and yet Jesus sends us out into danger. But that's because earth is a dangerous place and God is calling on his workers to do faithful work. Next, he warned them about all their, you know, oh, I've got to get all my supplies. How many times have we you gone on a trip? Many times, you know, you go on a trip and you pack in all these extra books and things and you get there and you're so busy, by the time you come back, you never had time to mess with that stuff. Jesus doesn't expect here we have to wait till we're fully provisioned. God will provide helps for us as we go, as we do his work. Maybe your church has got a small amount of money in its, uh, its evangelism fund. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Go about God's work. God will provide, see? So God sends us out to be his workers. In, uh, even in crazy and intense times, times where life and limb are a danger, and yet Jesus sends us out. Plead that God will send labors into the harvest. And of course, as soon as you pray that prayer, you have to go. So I hope you're okay with that because Jesus is sending me and Jesus is sending you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to be uh, diligent in praying for workers to be sent into the harvest and of course, help us to be finding your, your way for us to work and working in your harvest. Time is wasting. Time is running out. Be our helper, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. No lack of material things or should, should stand in the way. Let's be about our Father's work.